Hey everyone, happy 2011, Hiko Simon here. Uh, so I got a message from a uh, YouTuber from Osaka called Noble Gaijin asking me for some recommended places to go to in Tokyo and I'm going to do that. Um, not only respond to that message but also just recommend generally my favorite places in Tokyo. So uh, hang around. So I'm going to tackle this two ways because I, I get this a lot not just from uh, through YouTube but also through personal friends who are coming to Tokyo people who know Tokyo and they want to know some secret places or some you know good hidden away places to find and people who are coming to Tokyo for the first time and they want to know the best places to go to um, I've always wanted to do this video but it's just uh, impossible to do in the way that I think most people want to do it like going around and showing off each town um, I'm just going to run through and tell you the must-go-to's and some of my favorite places and um, I'll, I'll make a, a Google map which I'll attach below and uh, you guys can go and find them yourselves. So the must-go-to's in Tokyo, if you're coming to Tokyo, um, if you haven't been to them before, you got to check these places off. Uh, first uh, is the uh, Ueno Amiyoko Markets, um, then you've got the uh, Sensoji Temple in Asakusa and there's also there's a ferry which goes from Asakusa to Odaiba and Odaiba is another must go to place and the ferry shows off the Tokyo skyline really well. Uh, Odaiba is like the ultra futuristic Tokyo so it's a kind of cool contrast going from the traditional old fashioned Tokyo in Asakusa to Odaiba the modern Tokyo um, where they've got like a, a big indoor um, sort of uh, amusement park run by Sega which has like indoor roller coasters and stuff it's just crazy and good shopping and restaurants and stuff like that so that's pretty cool uh, plus a driverless robotic train which comes back to Tokyo um, then you've got like the fashion towns for example over in uh, Shibuya and Harajuku um, and not just fashion but music and just youth culture generally um, if yeah if you into that sort of thing you got to check those out if you are a geek uh, Akihabara absolute must go to the geek capital of the world um, if you have been out and not around Gaijin for a long time, or whatever, or you want to go to some international places, uh, Roppongi. Uh, if, you, if you need some uh, to go to some international bars, watch some football, you know, drink some cider, the stuff which you can't get, eat some fish and chips, go to Roppongi. Uh, it used to be a really sleazy bar district. It's kind of gone a bit more upmarket recently, especially now with uh, Roppongi Hills in Midtown there. Um, but it still is a bit of a Gaijin ghetto, but you know, it is the most cosmopolitan part probably of Japan um, So if that's what you're looking for, that's really cool. And then you've got uh, Shinjuku Shinjuku is just mind-bogglingly huge uh, You have to go and check it out and if you go there just for a day I'd suggest just go to the east exit of the station and check out the east part of Shinjuku but um, honestly you could be there for weeks and weeks and not go anywhere other than the Shinjuku and Still never cover it all. Um, it, it's the heart and soul of Tokyo and uh, the absolute must go to. So the lesser known places that I recommend uh, that uh, are basically my response to Noble Gaijin. Um, there's one place which I probably don't recommend for Noble Gaijin but if you're coming, if you know Tokyo fairly well and you want a new place to go to, go to Kichijoji. Um, it's got a little bit of a well, an Osaka type feel I guess. It's got like big shopping arcades and stuff. It's got everything that you want there but it's also got, it's really close to Inokashira Park and it's got a great bar district, um, it's, it's kind of a semi-student town. Um, it's got a really cool vibe, it's one of my favorite places in Western Tokyo. Um, so it's a good place to check out. But the places that I recommend for uh, Noble Gaijin, uh, first there's uh, well, Shimo Kitazawa, which is a little bit hard to get to. Again, it's in the western part of Tokyo, it's a kind of funky student town, fashion town. Uh, it's really cool. Then you've got like Nakameguro, which is where a lot of Gaijins are not choosing to live. It's got a real, it used to be a real old, old grandpa's grandma's kind of town. But again, now with the canal there, it's, it's probably the best place to do, watch the Hanami in Tokyo now. And it's got lots of cool little bars and stuff, and it's really happening in the area now. Uh, Omote Sando, which is a really upmarket kind of, uh, it, it, again, you could walk from there to Shibuya, and it, it's got the, the mix of the fashion and it, kind of upmarket. But it's very cosmopolitan. Uh, for some reason, it seems to be the, the model capital of Japan. There are all the model modeling agencies are there, so you're just walking around. You've got all these beautiful models and stuff everywhere, and it's very cosmopolitan, so it's pretty cool. Um, but the one place which I recommend above all else in Tokyo, um, personally, and that's if you've gone and seen the Masis already, is you go to uh, Idabashi, and you walk along the stretch in between Idabashi and uh, Kagurazaka. Uh, and basically just because, well, besides the fact that it's the Gion, it's the Geisha, it's the old Geisha district of Tokyo, when Tokyo was Edo, uh, the historical name of Tokyo, there still are Geisha bars there as well, although you'll never see a Geisha uh, out in public like you would in uh, Gion in Kyoto. Um, they still exist there, 
But the thing is that it's also because the French International School is close to Idabashi, it means that the, the, French, the French expat population has, has set up camp there. And all the French companies and the French restaurants are located around there. And as a result, partly of that, and the fact it's also got all the best Japanese restaurants really in Tokyo, it's probably got the densest uh, concentration of Michelin star restaurants anywhere in the world. And uh, although I can't recommend any of those because those are all like he heavily booked up and so on now, I used to live close to there and all the food there you, you really can't miss. Um, there are three places I'll recommend uh, which I, you should go and check out. Now, again, coming from Osaka, these are the, the kinds of places I expect you probably wouldn't have so much of in, in Osaka. Uh, three restaurants uh, in Kagurazaka and Nidabashi, and these are uh, Eve's Terrace, uh, which is a French rotisserie chicken and uh, grill type restaurant, reasonably priced, great menu, fantastic food, good atmosphere, um, that's in Kagurazaka. There's another place just called French Dining, um, just as it is. Um, it's fantastic. It feels like a, a very expensive restaurant when it's very reasonably priced and it's great French food. And I didn't know French food until I came to Tokyo. Uh, I, I can't believe I'd missed it out my entire life. But uh, And this is just a, a, a really good solid restaurant like that. Um, again, I'm just thinking coming from Osaka, uh, maybe it's something you wouldn't have so much uh, down there. Um, and the other place I recommend is a great fusion. It's a kind of a Meiji, kind of Victorian era, uh, Japanese restoration era house. It's a kind of a, a western style, 19th century western style house with this kind of fusion of this kind of Japanese style take on uh, Italian food, um, which usually is a recipe for disaster. But in this place, in the case of this restaurant called Angela, it's got no homepage, there's, no, there's not a lot of information on, on, on the internet, but it's just a, it's a really, really good restaurant. I mean, they've got the, the, the tomato bases and sauces are down really well. They do pizza, they do Italian food, but they do it in this kind of fusion Japanese way that works so uh, those are the three, three places that, and it's in this crazy kind of house so uh, yeah those are my, my recommended three recommended restaurants and all my recommended places to go and visit in Tokyo so uh, if you get the chance go and check them out and uh, as for what's coming up on this channel this year I'm going to try to make videos a bit more regularly the apartment uh, searching guide uh, videos are shot and I'm just editing them and those, those will be going up very soon I'll try to make videos a bit more regularly this year and I, I do want to try some more styles of video and so on. So I uh, look forward to that and I look forward to uh, interacting more with you guys through the comments on these videos and through Twitter and all that other good stuff. And I hope you all have a fantastic 2011 and I'm looking forward to uh, getting to know all you guys more. So uh, yeah, noble guys, you have a great trip to Tokyo and see all you guys soon. Hey, peace.